Jedi opponent here again. And we're challenging the League 4 now. And Pokemon Diamond. And the first guy is Aaron. Oh yeah. He's the master of bug Pokemon is what he says. So let's challenge him. He starts off the dust ox, I believe. And I am I think I sent him my Infernape. And my Infernape just dominate shit. Well my Twinkie, I guess. I forget what dust ox is, he always confused me. I think he's bug poison. So I'm just gonna use a flame wheel. Take him out one hit. With this guy, you either want a fire or a flying type. And it should be fine. Rock works too. If you have like guy that knows like Stone Age or Rock Slide or something, that's really helpful too, because bug is weak against rock, flying, and fire. So really whatever you wanna go up against Smith, he's he's pretty easy. Not a huge challenge. It's a good way to get you warmed up for the other Pokemon in the Leaf, other Pokemon trainers, I guess, in the Leaf 4. Because there's some really good ones that if you don't know what you're going up against, you can get. Um, you're going to lose, unfortunately, to put it. This was. Okay, so Beautifly with Bug Fly, so easy to take out. But, you're going to say I'm going to use Drapion. Now, Drapion is not Bug. So, he's poison dark. So, choose a ground Pokemon. Ground attack. Psychic won't affect him. Fighting would just be normal effective. One thing that's super effective against Drapion, if I can remember, is ground attacks. So, if you have like a secret ground Pokemon lying around your party, or Pokemon with like Earthquake, Mud Bomb, like I'm using, or anything like that. Just switch them out in the Drapion. Make sure they can still take a hit or two if they're not decently fast. Because Drapion does pack a punch. So you gotta be careful against Drapion, is all I'm saying. But if you plan ahead, or think ahead like who you're gonna use against Drapion, it'll be easy to take them out. Like, I knew he was gonna send Drapion, so I knew I was gonna send on Gas Gastrodon. I thought it was going to be like the first Pokemon to send out like after I beat Dustox, but it was the second. It doesn't really matter at all. So then it goes back to a Heracross. I forget. Yeah, I sent him a Dracula because Heracross is bug fighting. So, Fire and Rock. No, Rock is just normal effective, but Fire will be... Sorry, I'm I just blanked there. Fire is going to be two times effective. And now Psychic will be two times effective against Heracross. But if you can get a flying move against Heracross, it will be four times effective. And I pretty much guarantee that if you're above like a 55, use like a decently strong firing move. Like if you use Fly against Heracross, you're pretty much guaranteed to one hit KO it. So keep that in mind. I like having versatility in my. I don't rely, like on relying one Pokemon for a whole um, Elite Four member just in case something goes wrong and then you're kind of screwed. So, with this party, you know, I had fun with it. I made a cool party that I can interchange them and show you guys how to use different Pokemon. And you guys probably all know how to new use them for an ape. A lot of you will. Gastron, if you've been paying attention through my videos, I used him a lot. So you should know how to use the Gastron. But there's guys here that you see later. I have an Obama Snow, Cherium. I think those are the only two Pokemon I've never used before in a party. Like that, I've shown you guys. And Obama Snow does not really play a huge part in my team, but Cherium plays a huge part. You're gonna see why once I get into the later videos. Or maybe in my next one. I think in my next one you'll see why. So, there's Aaron for you. Oh, just quick tip it before I go. The Vespa Queen of Rock Attack is four times effective. So, do Rock against him. And yeah, there's Aaron. And I'll catch you guys when about Bertha next.